Hello and welcome to True Vikings metal detecting show. Today I'm here on this beautiful field in Finland where ancient man has always been working and doing stuff here. I know that this field has been in use since at least the 1200s and that's a long time in Finland. 800 years. Today I will be doing less storytelling and more digging up and showing the finds because this field here is very sandy and I know that everything and anything that I'm gonna find is gonna be in very well preserved condition and that really excites me. So finally we can see something on those copper coins that have been laying here for centuries. Okay, I'm excited. I'm gonna start digging now. Stop talking. Let's go. I dug a very, very deep hole, it's as deep as my pinpointer, but the reward was also spectacular. Here, it looks like a rock, but that is no rock. That is solid bronze. And haha, <laughs> I recognize that shape. That's, that's a pot leg, my friends. A pot leg from a big medieval pot, a cauldron. Very cool find. That could actually even be from the 1200s because those were used for a very long time and that pot has been massive. Good find. Good job Emil. Let's keep digging. Buttons throughout the ages. Who doesn't love a good button? <laughs> I sure love buttons. That's a fact. A true Vikings fact. A wary pretty button and it's gold coated there's three different coat of arms here but I have very much trouble distinguishing any of them because they are worn and broken just in the right places very hard to see but it has been a very nice golden button once upon a time other side not so pretty but Prettiest button I have found in many weeks. More evidence of ancient man dropping stuff. A green piece of glass. Not so thick. Maybe not so old after all. But this, you see the swan there on this broken piece of china with the blue nice bird. Huh, I love that little bird. What an awesome thing, bird ornament here on this muddy Finnish field. I did not suspect I would find a bird this morning when I woke up, but sometimes you do. Now it's gonna fly home to my treasure collection. Ooh, go little bird, go, fly, try your wings. I've been walking for a while here with uh, very few signals actually, some uh, buttons and some field trash and stuff but here I think I have a very nice coin maybe even silver so I whipped out the camera and now I'm gonna whip out the silver from the ground I'm gonna show you what kind of what kind of a signal we got here let's see now let's see yes here we go somewhere here there the my lab says 30 something very steady, nice signal. That's exactly what a coin is supposed to, to sound like. And uh, it's a blast with that big coil. Because it's so easy and you can cover so much ground with it. Okay, a bit tricky doing everything one-handed here because I don't have any friends in life, but let's see, is it in the hole or, oh, it's in the hole. It's uh, still in the hole, there, deeper down. Good aiming, good aiming. Little bit there to the side. That should do it, I think. That should do it. Reach for the pinpointer. It's still on, not in the hole anymore, so it must be here. There, I see something. Aha, that does not look like a coin. Looks more like a buckle. 
No? What is it? It's a big piece of copper. Scrap copper. Nah, not a coin, but the material was right. The metal was right. <sighs> I really had high hopes for this one. <sighs> Sometimes this hobby is full of disappointments, but then that one time when you find something, it's all worth it. On we go then, like the hobbits. Another interesting find here. It sure looks like a padlock. And that's where the key would go. I have never seen this model before. Very cool, very cool. Random stuff you find in the fields. I managed to find one really nice button. It's small, but it's my favorite this far. I'm gonna show you why it is my favorite, because it's really cool. If you guys have been following the True Vikings channel, you know that I'm a really big fan of military stuff. And that's an anchor. It's a very pretty anchor. And I love Navy stuff, military stuff. I love that button. Oh man, I wonder if this is what I think it is. And if that is the case, it would make me extremely happy because the shape is right. The, it just looks right. I think it is. Let's see if it is a square coin. Oh man, could it be a square coin from the 1500s? Oh, there. The shape is exactly what it's supposed to be. And there's some, yes, I see something on the side there. Oh man, oh man. What does it, oh yes, that's a coin. Is it a coin or is it just scratched up? No, that's a coin. That's a coin. <laughs> Yeehaw. That is a coin. Yes it is, yes it is. 1500 coins. Cannot make out that much, but there's some kind of pattern there. There's supposed to be lions and uh, a knight or something, a soldier, three crowns, something like that on this and very hard to make out anything from this, but this is 1500s. Smells 1500s. <laughs> Man! And there's even a few percentile silver in this, even though it looks very copperish, bronzish. Very nice find indeed. I love this field. I had a huge signal and I can't believe what I just uncovered. Actually, I don't know what I uncovered, but it might be something awesome. Not sure. This here is the biggest bronze object I have ever found. It has been a ring perhaps? It's very solid, massive bronze. It weighs a ton. Curved, broken at both ends. No markings, no nothing on it. Could this have fallen off a horse? Or could this be grave goods? Could this be, for example, a necklace? <laughs> Very heavy necklace in that case. I think it's too big to be a bracelet, but who knows? Weird stuff going on in this field. Huh, what a find, what a find. I don't know what to think about this one. Could be a thousand years old, could be 50 years old. This relic here is a dilemma for me. You guys can decide on this one. Is this a very old bottle opener? You would flip open the bottle cap with this. Or is this a drawer, a handle from a drawer? You would pull out a drawer like this. I don't know. Leave a comment what you think about this one. I'm torn 50-50. <laughs> See you guys in the next episode. Take care. Press the subscribe. Happy hunting out there. 
and uh, catch you later, alligator.